guys welcome to another session of learning with prep class i am bc i am a prep class teacher in this video i'll be solving questions 41 to questions 45 of the loyola jesuit college entrance examination mathematics paper 4. subscribe to our channel and also make sure that you like and comment on the video thank you all right so the first question question 41 says find the perimeter of triangle Whose sides are 97 centimeters, 69 centimeters, 87 centimeters, respectively? Okay, so first of all, what is the meaning of perimeter? Perimeter is the distance around a shape. The perimeter of a triangle is the sum of the sides of the triangle. The sides of this triangle are given as 97 centimeters, 69 centimeters, and 87 centimeters. So, perimeter of this triangle is going to be the sum of these sides. Okay, so 97 centimeters plus 69 centimeters plus 87 centimeters. That can be done here. 7 plus 9 is 16. 16 plus 7 is 23. Write 3, carry 2. 2 plus 9 is 11. 11 plus 6 is 17. 17 plus 8 is 25. So, we have 250. So 97 centimeters plus 69 centimeters plus 87 centimeters is 253 centimeters. Okay, so the perimeter of this triangle is 253 centimeters. So A is the correct option here, 253 centimeters. Check. Question 42, 98 square minus 34 square. What is square? What does it mean? The square of a number is the value obtained when the number is multiplied by itself. So the square of 4 is 4 times 4. The square of 6 is 6 times 6. Okay? Is the value obtained when the number is multiplied by itself. So this means that 98 squared minus 34 squared is 98 times 98 minus 34 times 34. So let's do that here. 98 multiplied by 98. 8 times 8 is 64. Write 4. Carry 6. 8 times 9 is 72. 72 plus 6 is 78. 9 times 8 is 72. Write 2. Carry 7. 9 times 9 is 81. 81 plus 7 is 88. Then, let's add those. 4 plus nothing is 4. 8 plus 2 is 10. Write 0. Carry 1. 1 plus 7 is 8. 8 plus 8 is 16. Write 6. Carry 1. 1 plus 8 is 9. So, 98 square is 9,604. Then, now 34 square. 34 times 34. 34 times 34. Let's do it here. 4 times 4 is 16. Write 6. Carry 1. 4 times 3 is 12. Plus 1. That is 13. 3 times 4 is 12. Write 2. Carry 1. 3 times 3 is 9. Plus 1 is 10. Now, let's add the 6 plus nothing is 6. 3 plus 2 is 5. 1 plus 0 is 1. Then 1 plus nothing is 1. So 34 multiplied by 34 is 1,156. So now we have 98 square minus 34 square as 9,604 minus 1,156. So let's do that here. 4 minus 6 is not possible. So we get 1 from the next digit. So the next digit is 0. So we can, we have to go to the next digit. Okay, so let's get 1 from this. It becomes 5. Put it here, it becomes 10. Then take 1 from 10, put it here, it becomes 14. Then this is now 9, because 10 minus 1 is 9. 14 minus 6 is 8. 9 minus 5 is 4. 5 minus 1 is 4. 9 minus 1 is 8. So the answer is 8,448. 98 square minus 34 square is 8,448. Okay, so which of the options is correct? The answer is 8,448. So the correct option is A, 8,448. Check. Question 43. If the price of tomato decreased from 370 Naira last year to 355 Naira, calculate the percentage decrease. Okay, so first of all, we need to know the decrease in price. So it was 370 last year. Now it is 355 Naira. Okay, so now we need to know the decrease in price by how much did the price decrease okay so to do this we have to do old price minus new price the old price is 370 naira because that was the price it was being sold last year okay so the old price is 370 naira the new price is the amount is being sold now 
which is 355 naira. So let's do 370 minus 355 naira here. Okay, so 0 minus 5 is not possible. So we get 1 from 7, which remains 6. Put the 1 here, it becomes 10. 10 minus 5 is 5. 6 minus 5 is 1. 3 minus 3 is 0. So we don't write it. So the answer here is 15 naira. 370 naira minus 355 naira is 15 naira. So this means that the decrease in price is 15 naira. Okay. So now we are asked to find the percentage decrease. Percentage decrease is given as Decrease in price divided by old price multiplied by 100. The decrease in price has been calculated, and then the answer is 15 naira divided by the old price, which is 370 naira multiplied by 100. 15 naira multiplied by 100 is 1500 naira, then divided by 370 naira. So naira cancels naira, then we can cancel out this zero here. Zero cancels this. So we have 150 divided by 37. So let's do that here. 150 divided by 37 is 4. 4 times 37 is 148. 150 minus 148 is 2. 2 is not divisible by 37. So what do we do? We, add, we put a decimal point here and then we add 0 here. So we now have 20. 20 is not divisible by 37. So we write 0 here and we also add 0 here. So it's now 200. 200 divided by 37 is 5. 5 times 37 is 185. 200 minus 185 can be done now. 0 minus 5 is not possible. So we get 1 from the next digit. But the next digit is also 0. So we get 1 from there. So when we take 1 from 2, it remains 1. Put it here, it becomes 10. Then take 1 to put here, it becomes 10. Then this is now 9. 10 minus 5 is 5. 9 minus 8 is 1. So we now have 15. So this division will go on and on. Okay, so that's why we have to stop here. So the answer is 4.05%. So the percentage decrease is 4.05%. So which of these options is correct? The correct option is option B, 4.05, because that's the answer. Check. Question 44. Find the area of the trapezium shown. This is the trapezium here. So first of all, what is a trapezium? A trapezium is a quadrilateral, that is, it has four sides, okay? So, it's a quadrilateral that has two parallel sides and two non-parallel sides. So, these are the two parallel sides there. 129 centimeters, 58 centimeters. Okay, so the area of a trapezium is half times the sum of the parallel sides times the distance between them. So, this is the distance between the two parallel sides. Okay, so the parallel side can be represented with B1 and B2. So B1 is 129 centimeter, B2 is 58 centimeter. Then the distance is also known as the height. So the height is 278 centimeter. Okay, so now we have half times B1 plus B2 times H. So let's do that here. Half times 129 centimeter plus 58 centimeter times 278 centimeter. Okay, so let's do the operation in bracket first. That is 129 plus 58 centimeters. So 9 plus 8 is 17. Write 7, carry 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 5 is 8. Then 1 plus nothing is 1. So we have 187 centimeters now. So we have half times 187 centimeters times 278 centimeters. So let's do that here. 187 times 278. 8 times 7 is 56. Write 6, carry 5. 8 times 8 is 64. 64 plus 5 is 59. Then write 9, carry 6. 8 times 1 is 8. 8 plus 6 is 14. 7 times 7 is 49. Write 9, carry 4. 7 times 8 is 56. 56 plus 4 is 60. So write 0, carry 6. 7 times 1 is 7. 7 plus 6 is 13. Then 2 times 7 is 14, so write 4, carry 1. 2 times 8 is 16, 16 plus 1 is 17, so write 7, carry 1. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1, that is 3. So let's add this together. 6 plus nothing is 6, 9 plus 9 is 18, write 8, carry 1. 1 plus 4 is 5, 5 plus 0 is 5, 5 plus 4 is 9. 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 plus 7 is 11, so write 1, carry 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 3 is 5. So we now have 51,986 centimeters divided.
divided by 2. Okay, so 51,986 centimeters divided by 2 is 25,993 centimeters. So the area of the trapezium shown here is 25,993 centimeters square. So the correct option here is A, 25,993.0 centimeters square. Check. Then the last question in this video says, Evaluate 5840.24 minus 5359.65. So this is very easy. These two numbers are decimal numbers. So when we want to add or subtract decimal numbers, all we have to do is to check if they are like decimals or unlike decimals. Like decimals are decimal numbers that have the same number of decimal places. Unlike decimals are decimals that do not have the same number of decimal places. The number of decimal places is determined by the number of digits after the decimal point. So there are two digits after the decimal point here, and there are two digits after the decimal point here. So this means that these two decimal numbers are like decimals. They both have two decimal places. So we can subtract. Okay? So 4 minus 5 is not possible. So we get 1 from 2, which remains 1. Put the 1 here, it becomes 14. 14 minus 5 is 9. Then we have one left here. One minus six is not possible. So we get one from the next digit. But the next digit is zero. So we have to get one from four. And it remains three. Put the one here, it becomes ten. Then take one from ten to this place. It becomes eleven. Then this is remaining nine. Eleven minus six is five. Nine minus nine is zero. Three minus five is not possible. So get one from eight, which remains seven. And put it here, it becomes thirteen. Thirteen minus five is eight. 7 minus 3 is 4. 5 minus 5 is 0. So we don't write it. So the answer is 480.59. So which of the following options is correct? So A is the correct option. 480.59. Check. I hope you enjoyed this video and you're able to learn a lot. Please don't forget to like and comment on this video. Also, subscribe to this channel to have access to more videos like this. And then you can also join us on WhatsApp by clicking on the link in the description below. Till I come your way next time. Bye.